What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I am bringing you guys another Spin Tires mod. Now some of the mods that I have lined up for you guys over the next few videos are going to be a little bit on the, I guess you could say, different side and we are starting out with something that d definitely does not fit in Spin Tires um, and it, that is this Bugatti. It's a classic uh, Bugatti, I believe it's a Type 52. I'll have to check, what the heck? Um, I'll have to check actually in the... Yeah, no, Type 41. Why did I say 52? Type 41 Napoleon. So, basically, um, you're looking at a huge, huge engine, and the dude in the front, I mean, somebody posted this in the comments, I think, on the on the actual file, like, on the site where the file was posted, and they were like, the dude in the front needs a suit and a top hat, and I absolutely agree. Someone needs to make that. But, um, this thing is a little bit crazy. I haven't driven it all, I like, really at all. I just wanted to see. I spawned in all these vehicles earlier um, just to see if they would work because some of the mods don't work properly because of, uh, because Windows 8 has some kind of weird, um, like, graphics card protection thing where if it doesn't like the file that you're running, it'll block it completely and there's almost no way to disable it. So, um, that's, like, the only thing to me that makes Windows 7 better than Windows 8 for gaming. But, um, beside, aside from that, though, um, so far, pretty much all the mods that I downloaded that I tested worked, so I'm very, very glad of that, and I'll finally be able to make videos of mods that actually work, because I, I downloaded a whole batch of mods a while back, and, like, none of them worked. They all crashed, so I was very happy to get mods that worked. So, opinions on this thing. Well, it definitely doesn't fit the game. Uh, it doesn't fit the game whatsoever. It doesn't suit the game uh, at all. However, it does have all-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, and a lockable differential, which means, and I've never taken it up here before, but I'm just going to see what happens. It's got these, wow, really? Hit a rock and caused us to dig in. It's got these super skinny tires, which can be, um, which can be kind of a bad thing, especially when you're, uh, what the heck? Like, completely stuck. I don't know if that was us or the tree. Come on. Yes. There you go. Put your power down. Let's see if we can line up any better. Yes. No. No. Don't expect to do any serious off-roading in uh, in Cruella Deville's ride because this is <laughs> this is not something you take off-roading whatsoever. So we're just gonna go ahead and basically just snap it, and hopefully we don't. Well, let's see if we land on our wheels. If we land on our wheels, we Nah, we yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sucked. We we basically just ruined that totally. Although I do wonder what is back here, because I haven't been back here in a little while. And actually the funny thing about this car is that it's it's actually decent at getting the tail end out, like right there. And it's easy to catch. Funny enough, you would think that with this like just the way this thing is set up, it wouldn't be that easy to catch, but this thing actually drifts and it's hard to Whoa, it was freezing. Because it's changing times. Um, but it's, it's, it's really hard to drift it on these tight roads, but, uh, once we work our way back to that parking lot area, I'll definitely show you guys, um, how this thing can go sideways, because it really does, it really will go sideways. And, I mean, you can kind of make it go a little bit on these skinny, uh, really skinny back roads, uh, or dirt roads, but, to be honest, it's not even really worth it, because it's so difficult anyway, um, to get it to actually go sideways and, and, and hold it on these back roads that you don't really even need to bother to do it. Oh god. You know what this reminds me of though? This reminds me of uh, of the car that they recently added to GTA 5. It reminds me of the um, the Albany Roosevelt. I know it's not anywhere close to the same car, but it still reminds me of that. I mean, an, um, this reminds me of a car in a like in just an environment that wasn't suited for it, but but way more so than the Albany uh, Roosevelt. I mean, the, the Roosevelt is, it's kind of at home anyway, um, just in Los Santos, just kind of where it is, but this is way out of its element here in spin tires. It's completely out of it. And just holds it. I mean, if you put all-wheel drive on, this thing will power, what the heck? Really? Really? Every time it gets to 1959 on the day and night cycle, when it changes to night, that is like the worst time because the game will freeze every single time. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go ahead and go right through. I'm just going to drag that thing all the way through. And it's frozen again. It's frozen again. Come on. 
Damn, there we go. Okay, there we... Actually, no, you know what? You know what? Yes. Oh, this thing's gonna be epic at night. Watch this. Yes, there we go. Now, if you have the all-wheel drive off, then it'll just kind of kick out the back end, and you just kind of have to balance the throttle, and you can just kind of keep it kicked out until you go past... Until you go past the point of angle where it's just not... You're just not able to catch it anymore. However... You put all-wheel drive on, and this thing will power slide like a beast. It really will. You just hold it, and hold it, and hold it, and it just keeps sliding, and sliding, and sliding, and sliding. It just keeps going, and going, and going, and you can drift around that MAZ for, like, forever. Nothing stands in the way of this Bugatti. Well, except for a spin-out. <laughs> except for a spin-out. I didn't apply the power properly. Now, actually, now that we're, um, now that it's nighttime, let's go ahead and see where we can actually get this thing to, depending on... Depending on if we can get it over the bridge or not. I'm, I'm actually curious to see if we can get it over the bridge or not. Because if we can, then there'll be some other interesting areas we can take it to. If we can't, then just, eh, we're going to kind of have to just jump dunes for a while. Which is nothing wrong with jumping dunes. It's just like, I, I feel like I would rather um, go over to this other side of the bridge. We'll see if it can manage it. Come on, no, come on, yes! There you go! No problem, well, maybe a little bit, but not too much. Swinging the back end around just a little bit. Very hard to keep it on this road, though. Very, very hard, I have to say. Okay, never mind. I thought there was something over there. It's just those glowing flowers. Those glowing flowers are so weird. Here's what I was looking for. It's that little, there's a little figure eight track. Let's see if we can go around this track at a pretty brisk pace without flipping it. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Definitely not as quick as the Evo, but then again, it's not meant to be. That's not what it's for. It's for being awesome. This thing is awesome. I mean, yeah, it's not an effective off-roader, really, but this thing is awesome. Every detail about it is just so cool. That Like, just cool just kind of seeps out of this car. Whoa, a little bit of, a little bit of oversteer. And I can tell you already, we're going to get that weird... There we go, that camera glitch. Camera's going crazy. This corner right here at the end of the bridge is so sharp. I never... Like, I'm almost never, uh, like, ready enough for it. Unless the car I'm in has, like, extremely good handling. Which this... Mmm... Doesn't? Um, unless you're, like... if you Unless you prepare for that corner way in advance, you're not going to get it. I guarantee you, you're not going to get it. I would like to... Oh, there we go. We flipped. We flipped. But we did complete a lap without flipping, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. Let's see if we can find our way back to an actual road. I believe there's one over here. And I think... Yeah, I think I've had enough of nighttime. So I'm going to go ahead and... There we go. Turn the lights off. Much better. I doubt it'll fit it under that bridge, but we can give it a shot. Turn the diff lock on and power! Come on! Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. The logo. Not the logo. The, um... Oh, God. The emblem. The emblem just got caught on the bridge. No way we were getting through that. However, there is a swamp nearby. <laughs> Whoever... Who would ever think of taking a Bugatti... Uh, like, especially a classic Bugatti like this one... Mudding in a swamp. I don't think very many people would. However, we're gonna hit a jump first. Come on! Wow, that's actually some pretty decent airtime. I'm impressed with that. Is the swamp over here? No, it's just a river. Yes, you trees do not... Yes, you will not stand up to... Yeah, you will. Never mind. Come on! We're gonna need the... Yeah, we... Oh, crap. Damn it! That's not gone well, at all. Yeah, it's not a bunt bogger. It can do it. Well, maybe, actually, no, we beached it. It can't do it. It can't do it. I was about to say it can do it, but it's not that great at it. No, it can't do it. It can't do it at all, whatsoever. At least we have the snap feature, which I use all the time with this thing. I have to. There's no way around it. You have to use it. Let's 
over here? Oh god. This is that horribly nasty part of the map. The part of the map where everything flips over. This is basically where cars go and spin tires to, to die. Because you are not getting out of here without flipping over w at least once. Especially if you try and cross the whole thing. Oh, yeah, see, we're gone. Completely gone. Oh, jeez. Everything's so steep, though. And, yeah, oh, God. Yeah, we've pretty much gotten ourselves stuck. But, if you guys enjoyed this video and this mod review, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later. And if you guys want to download this mod and try it out for yourselves, there will be a link in the description box below.